The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 13. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on August 19, 1973, in London, England. As the embodied soul continuously passes in this body, from boyhood to youth to old age, the soul similarly passes into another body at death. The self-realized soul is not bewildered by such a change. This simple thing they cannot understand. Therefore, it is mentioned here, Dhira Staptanam. Dhira means sober, cool-headed man. And just the opposite is Adhira. Adhira means third class, fourth class man. Or rascals. Adhira. Dhira means sober, just like the exact translation is gentleman, Dhira. And those who are not gentlemen, uncultured, uneducated, rascal, they cannot understand. Otherwise, what is the difficulty? How plainly, how easily explain that Kumara Jovanamjala. There are three stages, Kumara. Uh, up to fifteenth year, it is called Kumara. And then from sixteenth year, it begins youthful life, up to forty years. Then after forty, what becomes? Jara, old man. Primarily old man, a little. Say, forty to fifty, primary, old man. After fifty, is old man. Therefore, it is advised, panchas uh, bhang bhanam rajet. Panchas means fifty. Purdham, fifty-one, and rest of the days, <coughs> maybe one hundred years, but not, that is not possible nowadays, maybe seventy, eighty, at most, uh, somebody lives nineteen and five, hundred years, although the limit, nowadays nobody lives. Uh. So, uh, those who are dhīra, gentlemen, uh, sober-headed, cool-headed, they can understand that I have changed my bodies. When I was a boy, up to fifteenth year, I remember how I was playing, I was, I was jumping, uh, then I became young man, how I was enjoying my life with friends and families. Now I am old man. I am means my body. Dehina. Dehi and Dehina. Dehi means uh, the proprietor of the body, owner of the body. And Deha means the body. In the previous verse, Krishna said that all of us, you, me, and all these soldiers and kings who are present here, we existed in the past, we are existing now, and we shall continue to exist in the future. This was the statement. But Raskar should say that how I was existing, I was born only in such and such year, before that, uh, I was not existing. At the present time existing, that's all right, but as soon as I die, I will not exist. Now Krishna says that I was, both, all of us, we are existing, uh, we are still existing, and we shall continue to exist. Is that contradictory? No, that is not contradictory. 
It is fact. Uh, we said <coughs> we are we were existing maybe in different body, and we shall continue to exist in different body. The hunter of path. This is the, to be understood. Uh, not that my existence. The example is given. The hunter of this time I was born. Then I became young man. So the body changed. Now I have become old man. The body changed. But I am existing. We, the upper part of the body. So where is the difficulty to understand? Dehina. Uh, Dehina means the, of the purpata. The body is changing. I can understand that body, my, my body has changed. So next life, the body may change, may not, it will change, but I may not remember. That is another thing. Just like in my last life, what was my body, I do not remember. So forgetfulness is our nature. Because I forget something, that does not mean the things did not take place. No. In my childhood I did so many things. I do not remember. But my father and mother who have seen my childhood, they remember. So forgetting does not mean that oh, things did not take place. Similarly, death means I have forgotten what was, what I was in the past life. That is called death. Uh, otherwise, I, a spirit soul, I am not dead. Uh, suppose I, I change my dress. In my boyhood, I was in a different dress. In my youthhood, I was in a different dress. In my old age, or as a sannyasi, I am in a different dress. The dress may change. That does not mean the owner of the dress is dead or gone. No. The simple thing. Uh, transmigration of the soul is expressed. Uh, and individual, all of us, individual. There is no question of mixing together. Every one of us, individual. God is individual, we are also individual. That we have explained yesterday. Nitya, nityanam, chetana, chetana. Only difference is that God does not change his body. I change my world. That is also in this material world. When I shall go to the spiritual world, there is no more change of body. Eternal. As Krishna has got his eternal body, Satchidananda Vigraha, form, eternal blissful of knowledge. Similarly, when you go back to home, back to Godhead, huh, then we get also similar body, Satchidananda Vigraha. Krishna Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigra. That is the difference. When Krishna comes, he does not change his body. Uh, in this material world. Krishna does not change. Therefore his name is Achyuto. He never changes. He never falls down. Uh, because he is the controller of Maya. And we are controlled by Maya. That is the difference. Uh, material energy, we are controlled by the material energy. But uh, Krishna is the controller of the material energy. Not only material energy, spiritual energy. All energies. Uh, everything that we see, everything manifested, whatever we see, that is Krishna's energy. Uh, just like heat and light is the energy of the sun. Similarly, Krishna's energies. Uh, there are many energies, but they have been divided principally into three. External energy, uh, internal energy, and marginal energy. So we are living entities, we are marginal energy. Marginal means we may remain under the external energy or we may remain under the spiritual energy as we like. Uh, the independence is there. Yeah. Tathat, Gathet, Shasi, Tathakuru. 
whatever you like, you can do. Krishna gives this independence to Arjuna. After describing Bhagavad Gita, he said, Gate Chasi Tathakuru. He does not force. Uh, that is not good. Forceful thing will not stand. Uh, <coughs> just like we advise, rise early in the morning. This is advice. Not that I have to force everyone. Uh, that is a force I may force one day, two days. But if one does not practice it, then simple force is easy. Uh. So similarly, Krishna does not force anyone to leave this material world. Uh, we all conditioned soul, material world. We are under the influence of the material energy. Krishna comes here to deliver us from this process of material energy that you are suffering so much because we are part and parcel of Krishna or Krishna's son directly. And if the son is in difficulty, the father suffers also. Although father directly has no suffering, suppose if son has become man or nowadays hippie, the father is very sorry uh, that my son is not living like a gentleman, uh, he is living like a, uh, what is called, wretch. Uh, the father is not happy. Uh, similarly, we, the conditioned soul in this material world, we are suffering so much, living like wretches and rascals. So Krishna is not happy. Therefore he comes personally to teach us. Yada yada hi dharma sadhvani bhavati tadatmanam sijamaha. So when Krishna comes, he comes in his original form. But unfortunately, we understand Krishna as one of us. He is one of us because his father, we are son, one of us. But he is the chief. Nitya nitya anam chitana chitana. He is more powerful, the most powerful, supreme powerful. We have got little power. That is the difference between Krishna. We cannot be equal. Nobody can be equal with Krishna or God or greater than him. Everyone under Krishna. Ekala Ishar Krishna Arsabhitta. Therefore, everyone is servant of Krishna. Krishna is the only master. Bhokaram Jagadavasam, Sarvaloka Mahesha, I am the Indian, I am the Prophet. Krishna says, that is the fact. So, we are changing our body, but Krishna does not change. Uh, one should understand this. Uh, the proof is that Krishna says, Vedaham Samitritani, he remembers past, present, and future. Just like Krishna says, Arjun, the fourth chapter we find, Krishna says that this philosophy of Bhagavad Gita, I spoke to the sun god some forty millions of years ago. How he remember? Huh? Because he does not change his body. This is a simple fact. We do not remember because we are changing body every moment. Uh, that is medical science. We are changing the corpuscles of body, uh, blood every second. The body is changing imperceptibly. Uh, imperceptibly body is changing. Therefore the father and mother cannot understand how the body is changing uh, imperceptibly. But third person, he becomes all of a sudden and sees the child has grown very big, he says, Oh, he has grown so long, so big, but the father mother does not see that he has grown so big. Uh, because he is always seeing, and the change is, change is taking place, very imperceptibly, only every moment. Uh, uh, that's like cinema, spool, uh, the picture is changing, but it is changing in such a way we are seeing that one man is dancing. But his dancing means he's changing his body. 
is changing its feature. Uh, similarly, our body is also changing. Uh, but I am not changing, you are not changing, my body is changing. That is the awareness. Dehina Sringa Thadi, Kumanu Jogonangara, Tathadi Hantrikat. So we are all individual souls and we are eternal, but because we are a changing body, therefore the birth, death, old age, disease, these are calculated. So our Krishna consciousness movement means that to get out of this changing position, come to the permanent, because we are eternal, that should be the question. That everyone wants to leave eternal. Nobody wants to die. Everyone. If I uh, come before you with a revolver, I shall kill you. You shall immediately cry, because you do not want to die. Uh, this is not very good business to die and take birth again. Uh, it is very troublesome. That I know imperceptibly. That if I die, I will have to take place again in the wombs of the mother. And maybe uh, nowadays mother killing the child within the womb. Uh, then again another mother. Uh, this process is going on. Uh, so that trouble, being killed to live within the womb of the mother, these things are very troublesome. We have got uh, in the subconsciousness all this trouble. Therefore we do not want to die. Because we have to again accept uh, another body. And the process of accepting the body is very long and very troublesome. Uh, we know all these things. Therefore we do not want to So therefore the question is that uh, I am eternal. And why I have been put into this temporary life? This is intelligence. This is the problem. But this rascal, they have set, out, set aside this real problem. Uh, they are thinking uh, how to eat, how to sleep, how to have sex, how to defend. Uh, even if you eat nicely, you sleep nicely, but ultimately you will have to die. The problem is there. Uh, but they are careless about this real problem. Uh, they are very much alert in the temporary problem. The temporary problem, actually, there is no problem. Eh? The bad beast, they also eat, sleep. They have sexual intercourse and they defend. If they uh, know all these things without becoming a human being, without having uh, sufficient education or so-called civilization, how to live, how to sleep, how to defend, if they can live, so what is your problem? These things are not problems. The Russian says overpopulation, these, these are not at all problems. Uh, the real problem is that I do not want to die Why death comes to takes place. This is real problem. Uh, but the Russians do not know it. Uh, they think these are problems, uh, temporary things. Uh, you will live for fifty years and maybe uh, that will be explained in the next verse. Mahaprasa for Sāsta Pontiya, Sri Krishna Sukhalukpada. This that we are temporarily, we are mm, faced with so many problems. Suppose there is severe poor. So, it is also a problem. We have to uh, search out nice coat or bad place and these are problems. If they are not available, then we are in this state. These are problems also. But uh, these problems are temporary. Uh, severe cold, winter has come and it will go. Uh, that is not permanent problem. The permanent problem has been due to my ignorance. I am taking birth, I am accepting death, I am accepting disease, I am accepting old age. This is real problem. These are real problems. That what Krishna has said. Janma mittu janabhyadi dukha dusha anudarsana. Actually, those who are in knowledge, they should see all these four problems, birth, death, old age, and disease. 
<coughs> so Tatha Dehantram Bhakti, Krishna said we existed. We existed in a different body. Now we are existing in a different body. And in the future also we shall all exist in a different body. Tatha Dehantra Prabhupada. In this way, we are transmitting, migrating from one body to another. But we are existing. Uh, this is the sum and substance of this verse. Dehina asmin jatha dehi, kovanam jovanam jara, tatha dehantra prapi, dhiratatta mahi. So, dhiratatta no, it is very simple thing. Suppose a young man, I uh, a boy uh, uh, changes his body, bodily symptoms, just like a boy uh, has no mustaches or beard, uh, but all of a sudden the hairs grow. Uh, does he cry, oh, why am I growing here? Why am I growing? Because that is the necessary change of body. Why should we perplex? Why my body is changing? Uh, similarly, my body is changing. This body to another body, I'm dying. Why shall I be perplexed? The intelligence is that what kind of body I'm going to get. That is intelligence. Uh, otherwise, why one should be perplexed? The answer of prati. Uh, if you prepare yourself, uh, just like uh, in childhood, boyhood, if you prepare yourself nicely educated, uh, then uh, you get nice job. Nice situation, he'll be happy. Preparation for the next life. Similarly, if you prepare yourself in this life for going back to home, back to God, then where is perplexity? Huh? There is no perplexity. I am going to Krishna, I am going back to home, back to God, and now I will have not to change material body. I will have my spiritual body. I shall now play with Krishna, dance with Krishna, eat with Krishna. This is Krishna consciousness. This is Krishna consciousness. Prepare yourself for the next life. The people, the man, dying man cries because maybe he is living next life, horrible life. Because according to karma, those who are very, very sinful, they cry because they see horrible things at the time of death. Uh, uh, is going to accept some type of body. But those who are pious, those who are devotees, they are dying without any anxiety. Uh, the death may take place. Uh, the example is given that uh, uh, foolish people may say that you devotees, you are dying, and a sinful man or non they are also dying. So where is the difference? No, there is difference. There is difference. Oh. This has been described by the example. Just like a, a cat catches its cub and catches the mouse. Oh. 